Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. First play from scrimmage, here's Murray. And it's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Murray now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So two incompletions have led them to an early third and ten. Throwing now is Murray. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. No surprise at all, they're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Another run here with Sanders. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Burt sets up to throw it. And his pass incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. 
Here's Hurts to throw. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Murray going to throw. Man open left side, it's Williams. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. To throw is Murray. Buying time to his left. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards that time. Easily one of the most exciting player team fits from last year's draft. Rondell Moore brought his brand of electricity to the Cardinals offense as a rookie. And he'll have an even bigger role in that offense this season and should easily top his 435 yards of 2021. He gets Arizona first. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. Javon Hargrave's second year in Philadelphia brought the returns the Eagles were hoping for made his first Pro Bowl with seven and a half sacks and really meshed well with the other pass rushers along the team's front line. Another try after the first down sack. Murray under pressure. They got him again. Hassan Reddick. He's the one that drops him this go around and that pass rush getting strong here. Back to back sacks. It's been quite the impressive career resurgence for Hassan Reddick. Focusing now more on rushing the passer. The linebacker has 23 and a half sacks in his last two seasons. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did to the 36-yard line, stop there. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 36, Hurts on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The football going back over to Arizona now. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one? I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four. Now third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Murray. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. from just shy of midfield. Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. 
That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm, and nowadays we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. Murray to throw on third and one. Quick slant caught by Moore. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Now Murray. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagle 17-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Murray now. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Prater's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of... Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Now a throw here, hauled in. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And his throw here is incomplete tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Hurts trying to hurry up the offense. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. He'll drop to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. Well, they're able to come away with the interception, Charles. They aren't able to move the ball. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. One second, all that remains. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goal break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Dallas Goddard really flourishes. Philadelphia's unquestioned number one tight end. He's a big-time field stretcher for first-time starter Jalen Hurts and averages second-most yards per reception among tight ends in the league. Won't hurt his average there with that first down pickup. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Hurts to throw. Out route and it's complete to Brown. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, 
But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Tackle there by Richard Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On second and nine, Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. On the ground with a tight end. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Grant Calcaterra. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it's up and good to make the score 13-3. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in you can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially but you have to do it without pressing because pressing that'll lead you into bigger errors they showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down caught that look from you there partner i think we're on the same page on that one just his first catch i think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. To throw again on second down. Murray, and that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. At this point in the game, and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Let's roll. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The end result, 21 yards. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. Eluding the pressure right. 
And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we didn't put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. That'll go for a game. Cliff Kingsbury is saying, hey, let's take another look at that. He's going to throw down the challenge flag. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A give running left. It's Sanders. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good, and that will keep this a three-point game. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We could have some free football, couldn't we? They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Play fake, Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. On play action, it's Murray. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw, it's Murray. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Prater's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. They go play action with Hertz. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 
Hurts finding Goddard there. First down, Philadelphia. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. But first down, Hurts. And this is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Hurts. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. Every penalty so critical at this stage of the game as now they've got it third and long. Throwing his hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. On first and 10 is Connor. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Hassan Reddick able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Murray from midfield. Under pressure again and down he goes again. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 right at the 30. They'll start with the option. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. On second and nine, Hurts airing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. They'll drop the throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. 
having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Shifts by him at the 25. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Murray. And this is going to be intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. In a tie game fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. Important extra point up and through, and they will take it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 20 to 13, 90 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Murray to throw. He's got Connor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. Back to throw. Murray. And that's complete to Brown. Couple of Oklahoma teammates there. Murray to Brown for a Cardinal first. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads them into the end zone. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Murray. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. To throw is Murray. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. 
One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip, try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. Murray, one final try. He's going to let it fly. And this is taken in at the five. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though.